hard enough, you tend to be reminded of what truly matters. So, the end of the line. You ready for this? Are you? Who will you be without a score to settle? I guess the world's most wanted fugitive will have to do. Alexa Carlyle is dead. According to the funeral invitation, that is. So naturally, it caused quite a stir when the late matriarch turned up at the breakfast table, alive and kicking. Carlyle, wisely sensing that her number is up, has emerged from exile to tie up loose ends and secure the Carlyle legacy. She may be a monster, but you have to admire her due diligence. Carlyle descends from an ancient line of warrior aristocrats. Her great-grandfather made a killing in the Second Opium War and established an empire in shipping, railroads, and newspaper publishing. While largely unknown to the public, the family still asserts its quiet dominance over global transport and logistics, media, and technology. Most senior of the partners, Alexa Carlyle, is cold as ice, tough as nails, and sharp as a razor. Incidentally, it was her late father who first brought the three families together after the end of World War II at this very house, meaning that this gentleman is the birthplace of Providence. It began here, and it ends here. Talk about poetic. One more thing. According to our intel, Carlyle keeps a case file on the Constant, information that may be helpful in his recapture, so don't leave the estate without it. Right. Happy hunting, 47. See you on the other side. Thornbridge Manor. The Carlyle family's home for countless generations. The revenant Alexa Carlyle and her three adult children Younger brother Zachary, grandson and daughter-in-law are all gathered to conduct Carlyle's sham funeral. Curiously, Carlyle summoned a famous London PI soon after arriving this morning, but his purpose at Thornbridge is yet unclear. Now, the target knows that you're coming, and her guard detail is top-notch. So Mr. Gray will secure their nearby field HQ and intercept all calls going in and out of the estate. Any appeal for backup is going to fall on very deaf ears. Good luck, gentlemen. This is a private area, sir. Phineas Whitman, private investigator. I have an appointment with Madame Carlyle. That is Phineas Whitmer, the famous private investigator hired by Madame Carlyle this morning. I'm curious why he's here. Maybe you should do some detecting yourself, 47. A famous private investigator summoned by Alexa Carlyle has arrived at Thornbridge Manor. If you take his place, it may be an opportunity to get close to Madame Carlyle. Just keep calm.
I'm Phineas Whitmer, private investigator. Ah, Mr. Whitmer. Madame Carlyle has asked me to be of assistance to you. I trust you've had a look around. Are you ready to see the crime scene now? I am. Very well. If you'll follow me, sir. I feel obliged to point out that current affairs surrounding Madame Carlyle are of a delicate nature. You may be familiar with the recent announcement of her death. You will probably learn that a staged funeral is scheduled to take place tomorrow. Madam's children were not informed until this morning that their mother was in fact not dead at all. So please bear with them if they seem affected by the rather unusual situation. I trust I do not need to remind you that there will be consequences if word gets out that Madame Carlyle is still alive. I'll consider her dead when I leave. Before you inspect the crime scene, I will tell you this. The case concerns the death of Mr. Zachary, Madame Carlyle's younger brother. He was found dead in his bed this morning. The door was locked from the inside, and a suicide letter was found in his room. However, Madame Carlyle suspects foul play and will not accept that he took his own life. I've prepared some information for you, so please do come and see me when you've finished your investigation of the crime scene. This is Mr. Zachary's room, to my right. A locked room murder mystery, 47. I trust you'll get to the bottom of this. Why don't you use your camera to scan the dead body? 47. Throat markings indicate a rare, short-lived plant poison killed him. Spread shows time of death at around 10 o'clock last night. You do know your poisons, 47. Zachary was shopping for New Wellingtons last night. Not exactly what you would expect from someone suicidal. Zachary's suicide note. Also, a sample of handwriting. It could be relevant to compare to other samples to establish its authenticity. A hidden door. It's a secret passage. This could explain how the door was locked from the inside. Hmm, a photocopy of the floor plans. Somebody's been researching the secret ins and outs of Thornbridge Manor. I believe you've done a thorough search of the crime scene, 47. Maybe it's time to see the butler. I'm curious about the information he's prepared for you. Personally as well. I will make sure of that. Mark my words. That is Alexa Carlyle, unofficial leader of the Providence Partners, and last one to be alive.
A safe in Madame Carla's office. I bet that's where she keeps the file on Arthur Edwards. Peculiar icons above the safe. I wonder if they might be some sort of a code. Maybe have a look around the office, 47. You are you, it's time to drop. You are gonna regret oh, this. Me. Get behind me and stay low. Oh no! Oh god! Down here. Son of a bitch. That's Madame Carlyle taken care of. Time to get the file on Arthur Edwards. Oh, Lord! I lost visual! I can't see him! I... He's right there!
Mission complete. Well done, 47. How are you today, sir? Mr. Gregory, something's off. Stuart got word his motion was rejected. We all signed the bloody thing four days ago. Forty-seven. They're everywhere. Go, get out! It's the Constantine! Shit! Take us all on?
kommt. Tell the Constant to start running! You think you've won? 47 is out there. And 47 never misses his mark. Neither do you, Miss Burnwood. That's what makes you valuable. You're delusional. You think I would betray 47? Trust me. You owe him nothing. What is this? I told you we could help each other. And I meant it. I look forward to your call. Gray is gone. Go to Berlin and stay out of sight.